Well, hello there, YouTube. Welcome. It's a very, very peaceful Monday the uh, 19th, 18th, whatever it is. It's Monday. But it's very peaceful out here. I think it's only like 46 or something out here. You're always around your collection of toys. He is just literally the sweetest dog ever. He just comes up and gives you these sad little looks like he's all concerned. <laughs> no, yeah, old Sparky. Well, anyway, welcome to Monday. Hot dang. I love it when it feels very comfortable. There's just something soothing about the about the beginning of the day. It's always that way in the mornings. I just tell him the peeps. Just something very soothing this morning. It reminds me of yesterday. Yeah. Well, sometimes you just and then I got a little taste of the Christmas spirit and all that stuff. Yeah. I don't know. It is the season. Yep. Just keep them smiles a smiling. Yeah. Let's roll, Mama. All right, Paul. You hold me back. I'm not. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, there, little woman. Hey there, Hubba. Welcome to another Monday. It got really foggy and dark, but you, we could see, looking towards the south, where we're at higher elevations coming yeah. down, it, it's going to get real pretty here real soon. Nice. Yep. Watch me now that I say that. It won't. At least over on the Oregon all. side, I can see it's really nice at the moment. All right. Have all right. yourself a wonderful Monday there, Mama. Thank you, sweetheart. And I'll catch you in the passings. All right. All right. Yeah. Love you. See you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That's pretty crazy. There's a brand new throttle body. When I took the old one out, it would not move. It was stuck. And then there was a spot in here where I thought there was a crack, but it, it wiped right off. But it made a popping sound and I was able to, to start moving it, but it was locked. But there's like corrosion all over everything. This thing looks like it's just been sitting out in the rain or something. But it's ridiculous the amount of parts I had to take off of this thing to do this. And it doesn't pay nothing. It's like a couple hours or something. That's nuts. Lord help me. And it's two o'clock. I'm in at about three now, and it's still apart. There she is. She's completed. New throttle body. No more codes. She runs like a champ. Of course, it's dark outside, and I can't ride it, and it's pouring down rain. This is not going to be a fun drive home. Ooh, look at my little orb. See him floating around? There's ghost here. That's the Pro Caliber ghost. Look at him flying all around. <laughs> Little woman? Yes, no man. You ready to head home in the dark? Yes, I am. It is nasty dark out there. Oh, it got wet. All right. The party missed in last. No, it didn't. Nope. All right. Let's get her done. All right. It ain't going to be fun, though. No. All right. <laughs> when we were coming home from Chehalis last night, we seen six different houses that already had their their Christmas lights up. That was really nice. Just kind of added to that little holiday spirit that's kicking, kicking in me right now. <laughs> Heck yeah, man! It is flat nasty out here. Guess what? It ain't summertime anymore. <laughs> you know, I joke around about them lights. Man, that's long since gone. It absolutely dumped. Uh, tis the season. You're all red. I'm red. Or orange or something. I don't know if that's a white balance issue or something's reflecting on you. Man. Yeah. What a nasty wet ride home. Or drive as it may be. Look at all these truckers out here driving in this. Flashing orange lights are very hard to see. <laughs> yeah, when you're riding along in the rain. Yeah. Kind of scary. Ooh, can't see. Flashing orange lights makes it hard to see the road. Yeah. Well, 
hello there, YouTube. <laughs> wow. That was a, a very... How did it start out so pretty like it was about to turn gorgeous? Yeah. And it just slowly got darker and darker and darker. No good weather ever came. Nope. That uh, what we could see down, looking down towards Portland. It just never, it just never came. No, it didn't. <laughs> and it got darker, man, at like 1.30 or so. It looked like the sun was about to go down. And then the rain came and it just hasn't stopped ever since. Oh, no. But the flip side of that is, is it's uh, supposed to be nicer, or supposed to be nice. I think it's supposed to rain first part of tomorrow, and it'll be nice all the way through Saturday. So that'll be nice. So, yeah, maybe we'll get some rides in. Very good. They're having a coronary. Yeah, they're all freaking out. Um, <laughs> man, it took me forever. That, that flat rate time for replacing a throttle body on an F3... Hot is wrong. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same time they give them for an RT, and an RT is a whole different animal. An RT is so much easier to work on than an F3. Which, when F3s came out, we thought, oh, thank God everything's out in the open. It'll be so much easier. No, it's no, not, no comparison. RT is half again, maybe yeah, at least twice as easy to work on. It's just easier to get up. panels off. There's no little hidden clips. And it's just, F3s are very strange to work on. Yeah. And then for them to muck up the flat rate time like that, because I think he, I think they're doing it under warranty because he's under emissions warranty. Although if they ask for that part back, they're going to kick it back. It was like a, I don't know, moisture ingestion or something. I hope he wasn't, you know, doing the old fired up in the garage kind of thing. Yeah. That throttle plate was stuck, so it was it was locked in position. And uh, I was showing Kurt. I was going, "Look at this thing! You ever seen a throttle body just locked up like this?" And it went, and it would move, but it was really stiff. The new one just now you push in, it just snaps back. But anyway, end result is runs good. All the codes, no codes came back. No throttle body codes anyway. Oh, it threw some codes when you first turn that key on. They don't like suddenly a new throttle body being in here. You gotta, you gotta relearn everything. Oh, I bet. It's funny how components are like that nowadays with motorcycles. There's you don't just go to a junkyard and swap out a part. There's some things like uh, dashes, clusters, and stuff like that that have the VIN number flashed into them. It's uh, you gotta buy a new one. You can't just you know, find some used cluster and plug it in anymore. Those days are kind of slipping yeah. away. You know, it's kind of sad. I mean, it's cool. They make things as cool as they are, but when things go wrong, it could, uh, it difficult. Yeah, it could, could be difficult, could be spendy, you know. I don't know what that throttle body was. I think it was 300 bucks or something, which isn't bad. You see throttle yeah. bodies are like, you say Thousands. throttle body, yeah, you go, nope. Yeah. Now, yeah, at one point, the uh, V-Twins, they were having some throttle body problems, especially the ones that set. You get the old P1614 code and you go, oh no. <laughs> yeah. They were like 1300 bucks. But I think retail owns like nine something now. They've, they've come down. But anyway, it's kind of weird. He's got a tire to put on. My back's killing me, so Ryan's going to slip the tire on there tomorrow. Slip the tire on. It's not easy to do a tire on no. an F3 e either. It kind of reminds me. anything is not easy. Yeah. Crazy. Man, what a day. And I just hunkered down on that thing, too. I just, like, didn't even come up for air. I was joking with James upstairs and said, when I was done with that thing, I went, <gasps> <laughs> Finally let air in. Yeah, I started tearing it. I realized, I'm looking at the book of what I got to do to get the throttle body out. I'm like, that's like doing a 28K service and getting to the spark plugs on it. What a pain, but it is what it is. Not, things just sometimes aren't easy to work on. No. Yeah, no. kind of weird. But uh, God, there was something I was gonna say to you. I don't remember what the heck it was. Got the camera going, I was thinking about that F3 and lost my mind. Uh-oh, it'll come to you. you yeah, once we go back inside, yeah. I, uh, I forgot to bring that tester home for the, for the BMW. I was talking to Ryan and Kurt and they're going, you don't see any leaks? And they're all like, if you smell it, there's got to be a leak somewhere. 
And they're going, are you sure it's not, you know, the pump's not leaking, it's not dripping back on that expansion chamber. But you know, I was showing you guys where the, the overflow hose is. If you guys have a keen eye and you notice that reservoir bottle, most reservoir bottles have a hose that runs it down to the atmosphere if it overfills the, you know, overheats and fills the reservoir bottle up. All the the 1200s and the 1250s are following suit. It's just a, a nipple fitting. So if you overheat, and Honda and other people have done that before, they do that on purpose so that if for some reason something doesn't trigger, you will smell the coolant. But the smell I'm smelling is like coolant hitting a hot motor. It just puts off that distinct smell. I'm sure something, car, motorcycle, whatever you've ridden at some point is overheated and you smell burning coolant. That's the smell I was smelling. Unless, you know, who knows? The only thing that makes me think it wasn't like another car is because when I left the grist mill, I smelt it again. I'm going, yeah, we got something going on. But no leaks, no coolant loss. Got a question if the old man ain't losing his noggin. I know. Is, that it could be a possibility. Which is highly possible. Yes. So, Kelly still hasn't got the results back. What is this lab doing? They, I, don't I don't know, know what lab they sent it to, but they must be busy. Yeah. <laughs> the the clinic, they don't have all I the resources. Give them a holler in the morning. Yeah. Kelly forgot to call. She got busy doing inventory stuff or something and spaced out calling the night. So she'll call them in the morning. Yeah. Find out. She but still don't, don't know if she's one or two or whatever. Who knows? Whatever that was I was going to talk to you about. Done, no, sli done slipped away. Must not have been too important. I remember thinking, I was going to well, tell them that. Uh -oh. I what it was. Christmas lights. We're starting to see Christmas lights here in uh, Toledo now. Yeah. After Thanksgiving, they'll be everywhere. Oh, yeah. Most people so, do a lot of it right before Thanksgiving, so they yeah. have it. You ever notice in the movies, and why does anybody do this? Always in the movies, they go and get the Christmas tree and decorate the tree on Christmas Eve. I know. Why would you put it up for one day? Yeah. Yeah. You've Not got me. so many other things going on on Christmas Eve. The last thing you're thinking about is going out and buying a tree and Decorate. decorating that thing. Yeah. Why do they do that? You guys ever watch those Christmas shows on the Hallmark Channel? Yeah, those are addicting. Which is very addicting. They're very, like, the world can't be that perfect. But I still, know, it's nice. very, yeah, put you in that Christmas spirit. That, that's me making all that noise, isn't yeah, it? It is, because you're a fiddler. He's yeah, a fiddler. sorry about that. Down here fiddling uh, I was about to ask, what are you doing over there, Warren? It and it was me. Eye. I didn't realize yeah. that thing was making that noise. Yeah. No, I wasn't even touching it then. That's because you touched it and then it went. Boom. That was a I Honda Ridgeline ghost. It comes around every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, whatever it was I had to say, I guess wasn't that important. Like yeah. my mom said, "Well, I forgot what I was going to say." Well, it must have been a lie. I'm like, "Mom." Yeah. <laughs> That's not funny. Some old Irish saying or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But anyway. I guess I have nothing else to say, so we might as well just roll on out. All right. The dogs, the dogs are starting to get quiet. They're probably all they're bedding coming. back down going, they ain't coming out. No, nope, they're staying in the truck. Yeah. I'm going to head on back to sleep. Leo will not stop no, until, he's, yeah, he's until we go in. Yeah, he's still out there Yeah. Yeah. So, that's it. All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up, and you guys have a wonderful Tuesday or Wednesday. Heck yeah. It'll be nicer tomorrow. Yes. I don't know what I got to work on. Hopefully a test ride will be involved. I don't know why I'm itching to ride a motorcycle. I just went on that long ride. I know. Day before yesterday, so. Yeah, Saturday. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Maybe it's just going to ride all the time. I know. It's a motorcycle thing. Motorcyclist yeah. thing. It is. All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow. You guys take care. Thanks for hanging out on a very wet, rainy, as it turned out, wet and rainy day. Yeah. All right. We'll see you in the morning. In the morning. Bye-bye now. Bye. If you're still hanging out, I remember what it was. <laughs> Kelly goes.
Is this thing any good? I go, I don't know. Let me see. What is it? I, it's a foot pump. And this thing... $13.95. So I was checking the thing out. It's got a little holder there. A nice little cable. Or hose as it may be. Decently long. Foot pumps come in so handy. Goes up to 100 PSI or 7 um, kilopascals. Which is 99 point something another. That's pretty cool, huh? You kidding me? $14? <laughs> Tailgate tools? I mean, it's, it's cheap. But, I mean, it's not like I'm using it at work. That'll come in handy as heck. I mean, I got my little battery operated, little whiz bangy there. Which is, you know, a more convenient way to go. Abby, I see you down there. You're just all excited, aren't you? But, yeah, that's what <laughs> I was losing my mind over. Kelly goes, oh, good lord, I forgot. It was the pump. Yeah. These quiet, quiet days. There'll be more of them, unfortunately. But, looks like it's going to be nice the rest of the week. And even on Saturday. Maybe we can get that. It'd be nice if it dries up. And I take the old Slim out. Again, I was going to... On a... I think it was Saturday, I was going to... Pull the iron out and wash it. And, um... It looked like the weather was going to turn nice, so I decided to do that instead. The old Slim, I'm jonesing to ride my, my new motor pickle. All right. Thank you guys very much. You guys have a wonderful evening. We'll see you bright and early in the morning.